Well, another dramatic day in that uh, courthouse. Uh, my colleague Karen Giannone is outside it in Pretoria right now. Karen. Well, Nick, the afternoon's proceedings continued along the same theme. That word improbable coming up time and time again. And Harry Nell putting it to Oscar Pistorius that his version was getting so complicated. He talked about one scenario where Oscar, Oscar Pistorius had said he ran back to the bedroom, to the balcony with his primed pistol in his hand, parted the curtains, opened and unlocked the balcony doors and then went back, putting the primed pistol on the bed, put on his prosthetic legs while he was looking for Reva Steenkamp in the aftermath of the shooting and Henny Nell basically accused Oscar Pistorius' version of being so complicated that it, that's truth, as, as, the dif, as the prosecution put it, was so much simpler. If I was so calculated in my manner, surely I would have put the gun on safe or I would have put it up somewhere, but no, I didn't. I left it on the bathroom floor where I was trying to save Reva's life, where there was a lot of movement. I wasn't thinking about this firearm. You see, it's only difficult on your version. Where, on the state's version, where you fired at Riva, <coughs> killed her, you put down the gun, and then tried to get her out. That's not that difficult. Not on the state's version. On your version, it's all, it's improbable. Isn't that I don't so? understand what Mr. Niles asking me, my lady. I'm saying your version is so improbable, you wouldn't have run up and down with a gun in your hand. And but nothing happened, no what, discharge. That's what happened, my lady. Now, you've heard Oscar Pistorius becoming emotional today in that excerpt there and in Andrew Harding's report. And Hedy Nell really seems to be losing patience with Oscar Pistorius when he becomes emotional lately. He accuses him of becoming upset when things get difficult for him, when his version uh, looks like it's unravelling. Now, Hedy Nell ended the day's proceedings by saying that he had questions for Oscar Pistorius about what happened in the toilet itself, but he'd like to save those for a fresh day of evidence and not rehash them again in the morning. So that is exactly how we expect uh, tomorrow's proceedings to begin. What happened in the toilet and more very intense questioning for Oscar Pistorius about that sequence of events. Nick. Karen, many thanks.